This is Canthalus from the Phoenix Realms Minecraft server. Gonna do a little bit of an intro to the abilities that are new, well, relatively new, in the MC MMO plugin. And with pretty much all the abilities, you select a tool, so I've got my iron shovel out, and then you right click to start the ability, and it will give you the notice you ready your, in this case, shovel. And then once you start with a left click, if you do it before it says you lower your shovel, you'll go crazy and start doing the ability. So this is the hole that I made testing out the excavation ability the first time. So we're going to give it another shot. Note a couple of things. One, the tool is going to take damage or decay at a very fast rate when I use this ability. Also, because of MCMMO's other features, there will be netherrack and glowstone dust and stuff flying all over the place. So here we go. So no, we're just cruising through these and you can see the little bar on the iron shovel dipping down and for what it's worth you should also be getting triple XP so that's why I finally just leveled up there and as you might have guessed I have admin power so I kinda tweaked my skills a bit up to all nines and so there we go and so that's how long it lasts at basically max level and you can see how long your ability will last by typing in a slash and then the name of the related skill, so in this case, excavation. And here we can see it'll last for about 22 seconds. Oh, and also, part of why there's so much sand all over the place is because you get triple drop rate in addition to the speed bonus and the XP bonus. But notice now there isn't a whole lot left on this shovel. With all of the skills, you can type a slash and then the skill name. And here I've done that for wood cutting, and it gives a brief explanation of what the ability will do. So it'll make the trees explode and drop the normal loot with double drops. And since I have basically maxed out my skills, it's pretty much 100% chance that we're going to get that, and it will last a whole 21 seconds. But it's going to eat through this iron axe lag in nobody's business. So let's give it a shot. Right click to ready the axe, and start at it. After a little bit of lag, stuff is exploding, and note how it takes out the leaves. So a very handy way of doing that. Let's try it on a bigger tree here. Yeah, there we go. Now we're getting some wood explosions. So probably going to want to have to be careful with this one. And there we go, it's worn off, because I'm not quite sure yet if you can accidentally explode something that you did not want to explode. So take it easy if you're using this in a tree farm, but out in the forest, it's perfect. Now that it's dark out, let's try out some of the combat abilities. Since we've got the axe out, let's try axes. Note that the Skull Splitter ability deals some splash damage, it's like cleave, and you get double damage on critical strikes and all kinds of good stuff. So, gonna spawn in some zombies, because everybody loves killing zombies. Here we are, and note that that was not with MCMMO. We right click and start flailing away on zombies. And down they all go. Lots of criticals at this level, and lots of splash damage, so I probably only hit two or three of them and it splashed to the rest of them. So now that we have this nice little arena of sorts, let's try the swords skill. So we can make them bleed, we can do some pairing to reduce damage, and all kinds of good stuff. So, let's get to it. Spawn in some more zombies, back myself into a corner. There we go. Right click and start a flailing. I'm not exactly sure how you make zombies bleed, but whatever. It shows that they're bleeding, lots of parries in there. That's what that's for. Now for unarmed. You can see Berserker will give us bonus damage and stuff's coming after us. Nice to know that in the zombie apocalypse, you don't need any weapons, you can just punch them down. Alright, after fending off the hordes of the undead, come down to this sample mine using the mine shaft technique. It's one that you might want to try out if you haven't looked at it before. Basically, the goal is to be able to see 
every block possible by digging out as few blocks possible. Anyways, down here to test out some of the mining based abilities. So, let's get the super pick. I've got an iron pickaxe enabled, and you can see it's going to eat right through it. So, let's check out the mining. We're going for super break. Gives a speed and a triple drop chance. And it's going to last 21 seconds here at basically mask lo max level. So here we go flying through cobblestone. This might cause some lag as you can see it's doing a little bit for me. So you're going to want to be careful of that. And look at the cobblestone just piling up. We are chewing through these blocks. This is a great way to just go digging in a hurry but beware that it might lag your server out a bit. Now that I have all of this cobblestone, we can check out what I think is the newest ability with the hoe. Let's check out herbalism. Look at the green thumb. Here, checking out the green thumb on cobble, which turns cobblestone into mossy cobblestone. Note that you have to have some seeds on you. So I've got one seed there in the inventory. So you right click. And note how it planted the seed onto the cobblestone to make mossy cobblestone. It calls that green terra. Here underground for another test, right click with the hoe. And note that we have a seed in the inventory. Oh, gotta be not on dirt, otherwise the right click will register as hoeing the dirt. And now we just planted some grass. So if you want to hoe down some dirt, you have to right click right at it. Otherwise, if you right-click up above it or something, you'll ready your hoe. So, gotta be careful with that. But, this is one way to actually spread grass. And if I had more grass se or more seeds on me, I could have planted grass all over here. So, if you ever wondered, hmm, how can I plant grass without admin powers to just give me grass? Well, there you go. That's one way to do it. And now over here, at the farm, some other stuff that we can do. Note that we have some fully grown wheat here, and some wheat at various stages. I'm going to give it just a bit to see if it'll grow some more, and then test out the last use of the Green Terra herbalism ability. Okay, so I kind of cheated with some bone meal, but here we go. So right click to get it started, and note all the drops and how it's replanting the wheat as we go along, at even a fairly advanced stage, not just at the just planted seed stage. That is the last use of the Terra Firma ability. And let's try it on the sugar. Check out the triple drops on that one, and it's also giving triple XP. This has been a little showing of the abilities available in the MC MMO plugin that uses Bucket, and it's for Minecraft. This was tested in Minecraft Beta 1.4 underscore 01, as you can see there on the upper left, and it was done using MC MMO 0 0.9.29. And if you think that you could do a better job of one of these videos, I won't take it personally. I know it's a little bit trickier than it seems to make one of these, so hey, give it a shot. There's a lot of plugins out there that could use some more videos, and I'm not much of a programmer, and if maybe you aren't much of one either, but you can get your hands on fraps or something like that, that's what I made this video with anyways, then you can help out the community. These people, like Nosser50, who made MCMMO, they're doing this for free, and hey, I think that that deserves a little bit of help here and there if we can give it. So, thanks for watching, and check out the bucket forums for more information on MCMMO and lots of other great plugins. This is Cantalus on the Phoenix Realm server, signing out.